Okay, everybody. So remember, we're boiling away the copper. It's boiling and hot. We need to put the yeast in that, remember? As a living thing, you put the yeast in there, it's going to die. So it isn't going to be able to do what we need it to do, make more of itself. This is our heat exchange unit. And this is what happens when we pump the wort down into here as it's boiling. The heat exchange unit removes salt and all of that heat. We then recycle the steam back up to use for the next brew. So when it's cooler, we then put it into this, which is our hot back. Now I showed you what the hops look like. They're all leafy and branches and twigs and all sorts of things. You don't want that in your pond to be there. Well, that might give you some trouble to chew on. So what we do is, in here, we spin the water around, the cooled water, we spin it around. And all that dry material sinks to the bottom. Now it sinks to the bottom, and then when we've pumped the liquid out, and that then goes up into our fermenting tanks, okay, ready to have the yeast in. This dry material here, we then shovel it out outside, and then the lovely gardeners from Dudley Council come and, well, they don't pinch it really, but they never tell us they're going to fetch it. And they use it for our garden, the gardens of Mary Stevens Park and places like that. Because it's a really rich fertiliser, so we try not to waste anything here at the brewery. I think it's about time we tasted another beer again. I'm going to now invite Adele in to pour her glass of beer. We couldn't afford the real one, but she's very nice as a nice wench. So she's now going to pour this last one, this last one, one. And this is our special. I will let you know this is our cameraman's face. Oh, what sort of entry are going to get on this? Let's have a look. Oh, not too shabby at all. Would you like to flash the label, dear? Excellent. So this is our Black Country Special. Now this one is a bit stronger. Oh dear, I hope she's going to be able when she's drunk it. It's very, very hot, they nice and refreshing. So that's why a lot of the younger people like it so much. Would you like to taste it again? Sort of flavours do we have? You taste the hops, it's quite mellow. Ah, that might give you a bit of a clue. If eventually we do start our brewery tours here and you come and see me physically, I do actually get you to taste those grains, look at a few grains of each of them and get the flavours in your mouth and then I challenge people for them to go there and when we do the beer tasting at the end of the tour, can you put a flavour in? What sort of flavour would have been in that one? That chocolate malt one you'd think would only be used for the, the mild beers, but it's not. It's a very useful one as a foundation beer. Okay? Do you like that then? I do. Do you want to take it then? Go on. Right, everyone, just to give you a bit of a close up, just like we did with the copper, this is the inside of our hot bag. But as you can see, it's a very, very modern piece of equipment. And unlike the copper, when we have to get people in to clean it, this has got its own very posh flushing system. Remember, everything has to be really, really clean. Okay, okay. okay. right. We've taken the heat out, because as you recall, we couldn't very well throw the yeast in to the liquid when it came out the copper, because yeast being the living thing that it is, it would die. So we've taken some of the heat out, not all of it, some of it and we've pumped the liquid up here into our fermenting tanks as you can see now if i just get you to have a nice look at the head of this one looks a bit delicious doesn't it now if you look you may see it bubbling up because the yeast is working extremely hard what's the yeast doing i ask why have you put yeast in i hear you say we've put yeast in <clears throat> because we need alcohol now believe it or not when yeast needs to divide like all living things need to do on this planet every living thing has got one driving force i know we all think oh well we've got to work and we've got to school and all the rest of it but actually every living thing on this planet has only got one driving force and that's to make more of itself yeast is now different that's what it wants to do but it needs the raw materials in order to be able to do that 
And what it needs is an energy source. Do you remember all that sugar that was in the grains? That's the energy source. What else does it need? Oxygen. Plentiful supply of oxygen. So it uses the oxygen, it uses the fuel, divides itself, makes more of itself, but it creates two byproducts in that. And the two byproducts are carbon dioxide, and we have the fans at the back, which when the carbon dioxide is a lot in here, it removes the carbon dioxide, because carbon dioxide is not a very nice thing. And then the other byproduct is alcohol. Can you believe the thing that you love so much, alcohol, is the byproduct of something making more of itself? Not quite so charming when you look at it like that, is it? But scan across, and this is working really nicely. Now, I know that this hasn't been in here that long because the head is nice and frothy and loose. The yeast is working away, it's creating all these byproducts and it's creating a huge, very loose, fluffy head. But it's going to run out of something at some point. It's not going to run out of oxygen, is it? Because we've got tons and tons of that. However, it is going to run out of its fuel supply. And as the fuel supply dwindles, what happens is this head starts to reduce in size because there's not so much carbon dioxide coming off. It reduces in size and it becomes creamy and flatter and richer. In fact, when we very often, when I do bring my groups around, I, I hope for one like this and I hope for one like the other because it tends to look like links of sausages or a brain. Bit of a strange thing to look at. But that's when I know that that is coming towards the end of being needing to be removed out of this tank. Now, I can see something at the bottom end of our fermenting room, and I think we should go and have a look at it. Clean it is. Remember I said earlier about everything must be spotless clean, otherwise your beer ain't going to be any good. Remember, yeast is a living thing. If there's any bacteria in there that ain't supposed to be, you've lost your beer completely. So that's how our vats are cleaned. If you just now have a look at this one, this is the one that caught my eye when I was at the other end of the fermenting room. Can you see how it's bubbling away? I've got to tell you, it smells absolutely fabulous. I ain't being mean, but it smells delicious. It's bubbling away, but what is happening, the vat can't contain it. And if the camera just comes along towards me, can you see how it's spilling over down onto the floor? Now, when I do my brewery tours, I always hope that I get one like this because it really shows you what the beer does when it's brewing. I have to tell everybody off though, because they will often get their finger and draw it up the side of the vat and lick it. Or worse still, lick the vat. Please don't. We don't know bugs into our beer. I have to tell you though, if you did drink it at this state, you wouldn't need to use anything to go to the toilet because it would clean you out magnificently. We call it green beer. So never, ever, ever drink beer that isn't finished, okay? I've got something to show you, but don't tell anybody. This is normally locked. When the beer finishes and we pump it out, the yeast is then pumped down through this pipe into this vault, and it's normally kept under lock and key. What? It's open. So I'm gonna take it in and show you one of the little tubs. Do you remember when I said to you, when the yeast is finished, it goes all nice and creamy on the bottom? That's what I'm going to show you. The yeast is the most prized possession because we keep using it and keep using it. So the yeast that we use is the same one that we've used for over 30 years. Can you imagine what would happen if somebody pinched it? So I don't get telling anybody because I shall come after you. Are you ready? Follow me. Where we keep it, look, and if you look, can you see in this vault that's where it started at the top? And as it slows down and slows down, it shrunk back down, and that is now primed and ready to use. But as I say, the smell in here is absolutely fantastic, but don't tell anybody, it's a secret. 